Hey Seekers, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel, honey. It is always a blessing to have you guys back here. If you are new here, welcome. And if you guys are returning to my channel, I welcome you back with open arms. You know your diamond shine bright like a diamond. Now for all my returning Seekers, it's not that I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for the love. And thank you for all the support that you show here on your channel. I see the love. And believe me, the love is not going unnoticed. Now, I'm presently in my hotel room, y'all. I am in Florida, okay? It's where your girl am. All right, so I'm going to be here for a couple of days, okay? So you guys will definitely be seeing a lot of reads here. Um, um, a little bit of TMI. Well, just, you, you know what? Let's take that back. Um, you guys who have been following me for a little while, you guys know that I have a sister who is dealing with stage four cancer, okay? So, I have to be here for her. So, that's my purpose here, okay? So, please, prayers are needed at this moment, okay? All right, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a read. Well, a couple of reads quite a bit but let's get into a prayer and clear the energy and pull some messages in um i'm not going to be using the tarot deck we're just going to be using um getting some spiritual messages from the angels for you guys so i'm going to be using the oracle deck um for all the reads that i'll be doing today right um it is presently about 9 p.m i just arrived not too long ago maybe two hours ago I'm going to grab something to eat, and I'm alone in my room, so it's just going to be me and you guys, all right? It's just going to be us, honey. It's just going to be us every day, all day. Um, I definitely will, oh, I definitely will let you guys meet my sister for sure. Um, so stay tuned for that, all right? Let's, let's get into a prayer, y'all, and clear the energy. Um, I didn't turn this light on because... It's going to make it too bright. So that works, right? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, as that you bless myself and as that you bless my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading using my body. Using my body. Using my spiritual body as your vessel to give me the right words and to give me the right messages that I speak to my seekers only for the ones that need to know. Heavenly Father. I give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray, amen. All right, so just know that this reading is a general reading, not a personal reading. Um, it may or may not resonate with you guys. Please take what does and leave the rest, okay? Um, just let it go, y'all. Just let it go because it's not important. If it didn't, didn't resonate, that's okay. You could always come back. It's, it's just a read, okay? Um, I have personal readings available, okay? Um, so you could always contact me using information that you'll find in the description of the video. Now the special starts tomorrow. Um, today is Tuesday, um, the 6th. And let me repeat the date. Tuesday the 6th is today. The special starts tomorrow, the 7th of uh, June. Now you will receive a 30 minute read for $55, okay? $55 for a 30-minute read. You'll also receive a 20-minute read for $45. The special will be ending at the end of this month, okay? I decided I'm just going to go ahead and give everyone the opportunity to be able to afford a personal reading with me. I've gotten so many messages um, of people who are saying, you know, they're not financially. Everybody's going through a lot of things. So I just want to be able to kind of help a couple of people, okay? All right, so you receive a 30-minute read for $55. And then you receive a 20-minute read for $45. And it's going to be ending at the end of this month, okay? Um, also... You can ask me three questions, three brief questions for $25. So that's the special that you guys will receive. And I will put it in the description box, okay? All right. 
All right, angels, let's get to this message, please. Let me give you guys an angel number here. Okay, so, oh, the angel number 10. That's your angel number, yo. The number 10. I am ingenious. Your angel number is here. Angels are saying you have great leadership skills. Your mind is sharp and allow you to dream up. They're also saying ingenious ideas and organize all the details, then direct others how to carry things out. That is massive. For some of you, you may be thinking about starting a business. Um, you just want to do something for yourself. Um, for some of you, you may be a boss or, or, or a, a supervisor or a lead at a job, your job. Maybe you're someone of a position. Um, you're able to carry out really great tasks here and you're able to share these tasks with others so that they will carry out things that you have hoarded in accordance. I'm feeling that smart is an understatement for you guys. This is what I'm seeing here. Um, your angel number 10. You might want to go ahead and write that angel number down, y'all. You know what I mean? All right, let's see. Aries. Aries, my darling. It's a pleasure to do this read for you guys right now. Okay. All right, angels, what's the message here, please? What is the message at this time? What is it that you needed to share with Aries at this time? Hope you guys are having an amazing day. All right. What's the message for Aries at this time? What's the message for Aries at this time? What's the message for Aries at this time? Spiral of manifestation and listen for truth. Oh, look at that. Wow. I feel like for some of you guys right now, you're either really trying to manifest a lot of things here. You're really trying to change a lot of things. This is what I'm seeing based on your angel number that came through. It talks about manifestation. It talks talks about for some of you structure, for some of you rebuilding um, yourself back up. Uh, for some of you, you might have had a, a difficult couple of months for some of you a couple of years um but i see you rebuilding and regaining and trying to do things different here um it's all about manifestation it's all about what you need it's all about what you're going to release it's all about what you're going to have come towards you it's all about what you're going to have coming into the circle because anything could come towards you but it's up to you to kind of know what to bring into a circle and i do feel like the circle is is, is one that feels like a spiral here it constantly goes and it constantly changes. It constantly comes in reverse back and forth. But I do feel like for some of you guys, you're really planning something here. I'm hearing that there's a plan or there needs to be one. Someone is trying to really figure things out. Listen to the truth. Um, but what I do here, though, this is what I'm feeling. And again, just take it as it resonates to you. But I feel like for some of you guys, because you're really tapping into something here, to kind of hear the truth or you're trying to find some kind of a clarity. This is what I'm feeling. Just be careful. You don't either overthink a situation or just be careful that you don't really reach out to the wrong resources based on what you're feeling or based on what you're needing right now. Because there's something that is coming in towards you as achievement, as goals. Of, but there's also a feeling of you being ready for this change that is coming or for some of you for this manifestation that you have been really tapping into to receive. Um, I do feel like there's a, a, a feeling of shedding old skin here for some of you, just kind of releasing a lot of things. For some of you holding on to a lot of packages from the past here, just let that go. Okay. Listen for the truth here. Um, for some of you, I feel like don't overthink trying to find this truth here. Why am I feeling like somebody's just kind of, but I didn't get a truth and I didn't get the clarity and I didn't get the answers that I need. I'm hearing you might hear something that you don't even want to hear. This is what I'm seeing here. All right, tell me more, angels. Someone just needs to shed old skin. Just 
take them pull whatever off and just just dispose of the past here just to let go of whatever it is that might have um held you back for some of you for too long this is why your manifestation process might have been slowed down because of someone who's trying to overthink a situation here or listening for something or waiting around for something that's not ready to change um the truth someone is waiting for some kind of a truth to come through here Tell me more. Tell me more. What do you feel? There you go. Angels is saying, ask yourself, what do you feel? What it is that you feel? What it is that you want? Um, what is it that you're really trying to resonate with? Because at the end of the day, by juggling many things or taking on too many tasks all at once, then you end up getting nothing accomplished in the long run. I feel like for some of you, you just feel very overwhelmed and overworked here. And because you've been thinking a situation over time, um, I feel like, you know, either someone is making you want to choose, but someone is juggling this choice, or... Someone wants or need you to make a decision or this could be you, but someone is juggling and having a hard time to make this decision. It just feel very unbalanced here. But what I do feel though, and this is what I'm hearing here. This is it's spiritual growth that is coming through. It's spiritual growth that is coming through. Um, just know that things are going to get better. Things are going to get better. This is what I'm seeing because with the moon card being right here into you trying to make a choice or a decision here, but having a hard time balancing out this two of pentacles, I do feel like once you kind of get the grip of what it is that you really truly want or needing at this point, things are going to be changing drastically. And whatever it is that you're searching for, whatever it is that you needed to come in, that might have been slowed or that might have been blocked. It will be let go and it will free itself and you'll be able to see and think clearly. And so that way this part could really manifest for you. For some of you just juggling, juggling this happening, juggling this orange. Maybe somebody's juggling two different persons here. One person is night and the other person is day when someone is still not trying to let go of none of that stuff. It's not making the situation get any better here. It's just putting you in a very dark place. A place where the truth is not coming sooner or later. But what is definitely coming though is manifestation. <laughs> that's, that's without a doubt right there. Manifestation. That I see. That is coming through. more angels what's this clarify this part and i'm getting the number nine here nine could be significant for some of you guys maybe it has something to do with september or maybe something happened on the ninth of a month or something with the ninth something is connected to the ninth she feels, she knows. Yeah, you know what, what it is that you need. You know what it is that you are looking for at this point. But I'm hearing a sacred fool here. Someone made a very wrong decision. And, it, and, and the thing with this decision, it can be cleared. It can be cleared, okay? And it must be cleared. Because it's a choice. Because, see, what's really happening here, for some of you guys, if you don't, Make this choice or this decision really, really soon because it's so critical. I'm hearing someone might be even taking someone for a clown or a, pu a puppet, okay? Um, or a fool. Someone is stringing a situation along here. And for some of you already know, you feel this, you know this. But why is it so difficult to make this decision? A big, bold vision. 
a big bold vision that you need to be inspired in your own beauty, in your self-love, in your self-care. Relax the whole of darkness and be at cause. This is what Angel is saying because there's a divine um, that's diving for light in your life. Okay? Angel is saying that you need to release the dark wound and let love live. Because and only because the perfection of your life is within reach here. Faith and progress. Everything is up to you. Tell me more, angels. Tell me more. What is the message that I need to share with Aries at this time? What is the message that I need to share with Aries at this time, angels? What's the message for Aries at this time? What is the message that I need to share with Aries at this time, Angel? Big bold vision. There you go. That came right back. Big bold vision. For some of you, you just need to use your third eye chakra here. Um, it's calling, calling on your ancestors here, calling on your divine to come in and take over the situation. For some of you having a hard time having a clear mind here, trust yourself. You can do it, but you have to go against the grain here. Swim towards the grain. It does say that every journey starts with one single step, a day at a time. Just, to, just know that you're not able to make a big, huge step for some of us. Everyone is different, all right? Um, but a day at a time is a step at a time, a little small step at a time. Um, every journey starts with a single, a single step. So you got to start somewhere. Um, dream a beautiful dream. This is what Angel is saying because at the end of the day, your inner trust is calling here. You have to trust yourself here. Um, for some of you guys, I'm getting shocked of the new. Some of you just afraid of the new, <laughs> afraid of the new here. Um, and I'm hearing legacy of light. Legacy of light is giving me inspiration because someone is afraid of a, of a new here. Um, even though for some of us, we say, oh, we want everything that's new. We want things to change. We want to resonate to, to new love. We want to resonate to new life, but we're still afraid. They're still afraid. And there's still come of a fear here. Tell me more. What's the message, please? The world wants to be written. The world wants to be written. It starts with a single step. Using your intuition, trusting in your judgment, knowing that you are going to go through pain, knowing that you might have some tears, you just have to shed those tears. Let those pain out. Let it all out and let your divine come through and take care of the situation for you. Because for some of you guys, this has just been too much. It's just been too much to handle. It's just been too much for you to hold on to. It's just been a baggage, like a weight of a baggage here. And you can't take this load for yourself. Let the divine step in and handle it. What is, what is already with you? Accept what is already with you. Because, honey, you can't change the situation unless that situation is coming in as I want to change, okay? Angels is saying that you need to know that you need to follow your own rhythm. Follow your own rhythm. This is what they're saying. You need to follow your own rhythm here. Can't change the situation unless it needs to be changed. Depend, de defend to the end the of, of work what defend to the end of the word while oh my goodness this is mm. why do i feel like you guys are have to be defending yourself and defending yourself to have this person realize or to have whatever is connected to you realize that you are the truth here free from judgment free to love free from judgment free to love you don't have to prove anything to anyone you don't have to prove anything the only thing you have to prove or who you're going to prove to is yourself. Legacy of light. You prove to yourself. Here. You prove to no one. The power of the attraction. Ask yourself. Time, Angel said it's time that you release this your energy into something 
bigger and better because bigger and better awaits you. Restore and replenish. Restore and replenish and release the dark wound and let love in because vision of love is beyond death. Okay? After some things is going to be changing in the world, not of this world. That situation is not of this world. This is why you're feeling the way that you're feeling. You have to let it go, honey. You have to let it go, okay? Start loving you. Start plenishing your life. Start rebuilding your life. Start tapping into energy. Start tapping into manifestation. Start having the angels work on your behalf. Manifest these angels. Demand these angels to come and take control of your situation. Okay? The Bible says he helps those who help themselves. Call on your divine. Call for divine intervention. Have them come in and place themselves in your life. And make sure that your situation is straightened out. But you have to summon these angels towards you here. Because your life right now is calling for change. Change is needed, honey. Okay? This is going to be your read. I'm going to do two more for the night, okay? Um, we're going to do just an, oh, another overall. And I'm not going to be using any tarot for these reads that I'm doing tonight. This is what the angels are telling me to do. I'm going to do that. So we have two more that's coming, all right? Um, we're going to do a love read for sure. See what's coming towards you in love. Um, and then we'll do... Let's just do what's, see what's going on with your financial situation and all that other stuff, okay? All right. Thumbs up your reads, my darling, on your way out. I'll see you in my next one. Until then, always remember to seek first and you always find beggars.